My name is Lauren Sherback and I'm sitting in my studio and I realize it's kind of busy in the background, but that's because that's the way it looks all the time. I, I uh, use it, use a very small studio space and it, and it has to multi-purpose for gardening and for some other uh, projects that I always work on. Anyway, my, my name is Lauren Sherback, as I said before, and I got admitted into the Clay International 2022, the 12th um, year uh, exhibition. And I uh, am sitting in my studio and I want to show you the work that got in, which was juried by Tony Clannell. And it, it, it shows my latest work. I always try to uh, apply with my latest work. Um, it is wood fired. It has a screw top uh, lid. And I fire in a Bori box kiln, uh, which is a uh, no smoke kiln in the middle of suburbia. I am, uh, I, I live outside the Washington area. I have no affiliation with work, work uh, house, but I, ha I live in the northwest suburb of DC. So I'm, I'm kind of close. Um, and I know what has always happened there, which is wonderful. Um, I was going to say about this piece, it was made uh, in a in kind of the Shino tradition. I mix up clays uh, for a slip. A, this is a porcelain slip applied, and I use uh, leaves impressed in my work to talk about the environment that I live in. So I always walk every morning. I try to pick up interesting leaves. Uh, this one, I don't know if you can see, has all kinds of lines in it from the bug damage. I like that. And because I'm a printmaker, I will ink it. I will take the slip and put it on the leaf and impress it on the pot, usually right after or soon after I threw it, throw it, or sometimes I let it set up and throw it, uh, put the leaves on and then uh, put the slip on top. Uh, I use, I wood fire, as I said, I use local wood that I collect. Uh, about, oh, 2000 now, um, I decided I had a long, I have been making pots since I was in high school. So I have about 50 years now in, and I decided that I didn't really understand where the materials came from uh, that I was using all these years and what kind of damage to the environment my use of those chemicals was doing. And going back to the mining aspect of the, of the materials. So I decided wood fire was uh, an interesting uh, process. It engaged me on all levels. I could, um, I would have to get the wood. I would have to process the wood. I would have to um, do the firings and um, it would cause me to analyze my uh, use of the materials of my space, of my environment. So I also dig some clay. And uh, so in the truest sense, I'm using the terroir of my area. And I try to talk about that in my work, in my art. Um, I'm very uh, acclimated <laughs> to the suburban lifestyle. So I'm every, and I'm a printmaker. So everything I see has uh, a graphic quality about it. And the, the images that I create are, are delim delimited by lines in nature in my suburban environment. So all, all, you, you look up and you see electrical lines or you see fence post lines or you see sidewalk lines. And, and I try to talk about some of that as it relates to the natural flora that grow in my area. 
Okay, so the other, the more technical aspect of the screw on lid <laughs> is years and years ago, there was a tap and die set for uh, ceramics uh, made by Bluebird. And I got given a, one of those uh, and have, have been using it on and off over the years. Sorry, I'm sweating. It's very hot here today. Um, and I don't have air conditioning in my studio. Um, but this is the tap and die. I bought it off Etsy and um, I'm working with the guy that des designed these and they're wonderful and they work, but they take some adjustment to getting used to them. So anyway, that's about it. I don't want to wa have you watch me melt into a puddle. And um, I generally don't wood fire until cooler temps, which in this area is not until uh, the fall, sometimes the late fall. And um, so I'm in my gardening mode at the moment and, and I will switch next month in August to my um, production mode for making pots and for the next firing, which should be around the beginning of December. Okay, so uh, that's about it. it it's environmentally important for me to know everything about what I, what materials I use, and and I do all the firings myself, uh, which helps me control um, the atmosphere. And the Shino is glaze or clay slip. In my case, uh, is particularly sensitive to um, to the atmosphere, the changes as the as you're using wood as your fuel source over the course of, in my case, three days. So that's it. Uh, thanks, thanks to Tony for juring me in to this wonderful show. I've watched it over the years. This is my first time in the show and I really uh, think it's a top-notch show and I'm, I'm very grateful and very grateful to the workhouse that, that put it on um, so that we can all enjoy it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your summer, <laughs> your hot summer. Bye-bye. Oops, one more thing. I want to encourage you, if you have want to seek out more information uh, or see other videos, I guess, um, go to www.workhousearts.org. That's W-O-R-K-H-O-U-S-E-A-R-T-S dot org for more information on the exhibit, on Workhouse, and maybe see more videos. Thanks. Bye.